quiet people have the loudest minds. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. Life would be tragic if it weren't funny. We are just an advanced breed of monkeys on a minor planet of a very average star. But we can understand the universe. That makes us something very special. 1. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. 2. Never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. 3. If you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. What I have done is to show that it is possible for the way the universe began to be determined by the laws of science. In that case, it would not be necessary to appeal to God to decide how the universe began. This doesn't prove that there is no God, only that God is not necessary. Mankind's greatest achievements have come about by talking and its greatest failures by not talking. It doesn't have to be like this. I have spent my life traveling across the universe, inside my mind. I regard the brain as a computer which will stop working when its components fail. There is no heaven or afterlife for broken down computers, that is a fairy story for people afraid of the dark. If the government is covering up knowledge of aliens, they are doing a better job of it than they do at anything else. When we see the earth from space, we see ourselves as a whole. We see the unity, and not the divisions. It is such a simple image with a compelling message, one planet, one human race. We are in danger of destroying ourselves by our greed and stupidity. We cannot remain looking inwards at ourselves on a small and increasingly polluted and overcrowded planet. Be brave, be curious, be determined, overcome the odds. It can be done. Time and space are finite in extent, but they don't have any boundary or edge. They would be like the surface of the earth, but with two more dimensions. The human capacity for guilt is such that people can always find ways to blame themselves. The idea of ten dimensions might sound exciting, but they would cause real problems if you forget where you parked your car. To confine our attention to terrestrial matters would be to limit the human spirit. We only have to look at ourselves to see how intelligent life might develop into something we wouldn't want to meet. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Where there's life, there's hope. Nothing is better than reading and gaining more and more knowledge. So long as the universe had a beginning, we could suppose it had a creator. But if the universe is really completely self-contained, having no boundary or edge, it would have neither beginning nor end, it would simply be. What place, then, for a creator? I regard the afterlife to be a fairy story for people that are afraid of the dark. You cannot understand the glories of the universe without believing there is some supreme power behind it. So Einstein was wrong when he said, God does not play dice. Consideration of black holes suggests, not only that God does play dice, but that he sometimes confuses us by throwing them where they can't be seen. I don't think the human race will survive the next thousand years, unless we spread into space. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. If you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. Not only does God play dice but, he sometimes throws them where they cannot be seen. The thing about smart people is that they seem like crazy people to dumb people. There is a fundamental difference between religion, which is based on authority, and science, which is based on observation and reason. Science will win because it works. My goal is simple. It is a complete understanding of the universe, why it is as it is and why it exists at all. The universe doesn't allow perfection. I think computer viruses should count as life. I think it says something about human nature that the only form of life we have created so far is purely destructive. We've created life in our own image. In the universe it may be that, primitive life is very common and intelligent life is fairly rare. Some would say it has yet to occur on Earth. 
One of the basic rules of the universe is that nothing is perfect. Perfection simply doesn't exist, without imperfection, neither you nor I would exist. I believe the simplest explanation is, there is no God. No one created the universe and no one directs our fate. This leads me to a profound realization that there probably is no heaven and no afterlife either. We have this one life to appreciate the grand design of the universe and for that, I am extremely grateful. I have noticed that even those who assert that everything is predestined and that we can change nothing about it still look both ways before they cross the street. The victim should have the right to end his life, if he wants. But I think it would be a great mistake. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do, and succeed at. While there's life, there is hope. It surprises me how disinterested we are today about things like physics, space, the universe and philosophy of our existence, our purpose, our final destination. It's a crazy world out there. Be curious. Even if there is only one possible unified theory, it is just a set of rules and equations. What is it that breathes fire into the equations and makes a universe for them to describe? The usual approach of science of constructing a mathematical model cannot answer the questions of why there should be a universe for the model to describe. Why does the universe go to all the bother of existing? 